but we'll share a pasuk from uh, Kohelet. And in Kohelet, there are two pasukim that really stand out in relation to uh, the observance of uh, many of the, uh, uh, of the halachot that we have. One pasuk is Poretz Gader, Uforetz Gader Yishechenu Nachash. The whole uh, pasuk starts with Chofer Gumatz Boipol, Uforetz Gader Yishechenu Nachash. A person that uh, digs a, uh, a furrow or, or, or some sort of pit, they think maybe they'll, they'll be okay. Other people will fall in there, I don't have to worry about it. Boipol. If any, uh, we put any obstacle, we have to be careful that the obstacle doesn't come back to us. Uforetz Gader Yishechenu Nachash, and a person that breaches a uh, fence, uh, uh, a will, will be uh, bitten by a snake. Now, what does that really mean? So, in co and uh, our sages uh, learn that for the gader, for the boundaries that we have in halacha, the boundaries that we have by chachamim. What does that really mean? Our chachamim come and place uh, and place a boundary. They place something between us and and a, a biblical restriction. Right? So imagine that there's something asur, gidoraita, biblically. So in order to prevent us from even getting close to that, there are fences that they put around that. And so for us not to breach that, uh, it, it means a lot. Um, when a person breaches that, Kohelet and our Chachamim learn from Kohelet that Ishachen Nachash will be bitten by a snake. Why does it have to do, what does it have to do by being bitten by a snake? If I, if I breach a fence, of halakha, why a snake, what's the resemblance to that? So there are two explanations. One is that, uh, first of all, Chava added a halakha. There's a lot of criticism on that. She added a halakha about from the tree of knowledge, from the ilan, you're not supposed to eat from the tree, but she also said you're not allowed to touch the tree. What did the snake do? He pushed her so she could touch the tree. He's the one that caused her to breach the, the gader, to breach her own fence. Did he breach the fence? Did he touch the tree? Did he eat from the tree? No, but he got punished. He's the one that caused her to breach from the, the fence and he also got punished. But also, sometimes when someone gets the venom of a snake, bitten by a snake, in the first couple of minutes, in the first instance, they don't really feel anything. Only later on when it seeps in and it starts going through the blood, uh, then they realize there's a big, they're in a big danger. Same, same thing with halakha, a person says, listen, What's the big difference? I'm only moving this, I'm moving that way, not keeping this a little bit, not keeping that a little bit. There's no significant measurement. You can't really see or feel it and inherently. There's not a shock wave that tells you, wow, you did something so wrong. But just like the venom, which takes a little while until it overtakes the person's body, uh, so too when a person deviates from the, 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 the norm of B'nai Israel keeping the Alachot and the Torah, only later on, after a while, after years, maybe only in their children or grandchildren, they'll see uh, the outcomes. And how does that have to do with Tisha B'Av? Uh, in terms of fasting on all that Tzomot, especially in Tisha B'Av, it's uh, Shukhan Aruch said that Akol Chayavin, everyone is obligated to fast and not to breach this Gadel, meaning there is a sensitivity around it. Now what happens for today, let's raise a quick question, what happens if a person ate by mistake, you woke up in the morning, your, your daily routine, whatever it is, you're having a coffee. You had a coffee, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's a fast day. It's Tisha B'Av. Or you had a little cookie, or you had something to eat. What do I do? How do I, how do I go about my day? How do I correct myself? Do I have to make up for it tomorrow? What should I do? So there's a difference what type of fast it is. If it's any one of the minor fasts, excluding Tisha B'Av and Yom Kippur, you're Zayin B'Tamuz, Asara B'Tevet, Som G'dayah, keep going, you don't have to make, make up for it. You had something to eat, you made a mistake, put it aside, keep going, nothing happened, just keep going. If it's Tisha B'Av, there's a difference between if you ate something before midday or after midday. If it's before midday, just keep going. Keep going, just put it behind you. If it's af if it's, it's right if it's after if it's after midday, yatsum lemacharat yom asara be'av. According to Rav Avadia, we, we have to fast the next day, and not only fast but also apply all the other restrictions: not showering, not putting any cream, not wearing leather shoes. Aside for the restriction of learning Torah, that you are allowed to do that because in and of itself, the tenth of Av has not been established as a day of sadness, but it's also only as a day of making up for. That halacha. I have another, I'm tempted to share another halacha. I know we're like uh, past time, but uh, let's just share one more quick halacha. Te'ima batzom. 
you want to taste something in the fast. When I say taste, I mean taste and not swallow. Meaning, let's say you're already getting ready, it's uh, pretty much the end of the fast. You're going to make some food to, to break the fast, to open the fast. And uh, you'd like to make sure if there's enough uh, spices, enough salt in the fast, can you take a little uh, taste without swallowing and you'll spit it out. Are you, may you or may you not do that on a fast day? So the answer is like this. On other fast day, a minor fast, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to taste something and spit it out as long as it's less than a uh, revi'it, which is 86 grams. But on Tisha B'Av and Yom Kippurim, we're not allowed to do that. So on Tisha B'Av, if you want to start making, tasting what you're about to make for, for Motzei Chag, you're just going to taste it and spit it out. Chachamim uh, do not allow that because of the sacredness or the, the greater sense of the day of Tisha B'Av and Yom Kippurim. So we may not even taste that, but on minor fast, we may do so. And it is permitted uh, to taste and to spit out. Amen.